Hi, my name is Daniel. Today, I'll show you how to use Auto Upgrade on your Data Guard environment. This is my environment. The database is called Prod. Primary instance is Prod1 and runs on BM1. Standby is called Prod2 and it runs on BM2. I'm connected to the primary host. I connect to the primary database using DataGuard CLI, and I can use the show configuration command to look at the details of my DataGuard setup. Now I connect to the standby host. I query v$ parameter to find the location of my DataGuard broker configuration files, and I generate commands so I can copy them to a safe location. Then I use SRVCTL to stop the database. And after that, I disable the database, just as a precaution. And finally, I can copy the broker configuration files to a safe location. Now it's time to upgrade the primary database. And I do that when I'm connected to the primary host. I've created a very simple configuration file for auto upgrade. It has the SID of the database, and also information about the source and target home. And I don't have to specify anything else. Auto upgrade automatically detects that this is a data guard setup. It takes care of the broker and also defers read or log transport to the standby databases. Now I start auto upgrade. I specify my configuration file and I use deploy mode. After a while, the upgrade has completed. The database is now running 19C. Auto upgrade also tells me that I have to manually re-enable reader log transport to the standby databases. You should keep the standby database out of sync until you have tested the new release. Only when you are ready to go live, you should continue and send redo to the standby database. Now it's time to restart the standby database. I'm connected to the standby host and I set some environment variables. Now I can copy my network files to the new Oracle home. And the same for my password and SP file. And finally, I can copy the broker configuration files into the new Oracle home. Next, I configure grid infrastructure to start the database in the new Oracle home. I also ensure that it starts as a physical standby in mount mode. And finally, I re-enable the database and then I start it. Now the standby database is started in mount mode and it's applying redo. But actually it's not doing anything because the primary database is not yet shipping redo logs to the standby database. So let's do that. I connect to the primary host and I start DataGuard CLI and connect to the primary database. I use the edit database command that I got from auto upgrade. Redo is now being shipped to the standby database. I use the show configuration command and I can see that the standby database has a warning. So let's look at the details. On prod run, the primary, everything looks fine. The state is transport on. Redo is being shipped to the standby database. On Prod2, however, there is a warning. It reports apply lag. That's because the standby database is now applying all the redo that has been generated on the primary database when it was upgraded. As the redo gets applied on the standby database, you'll see that the reported apply lag decreases. And eventually, when the standby database is fully in sync with the primary database, there will be no apply lag. The standby database is now fully in sync with the primary database and it has been implicitly upgraded via the redo that came from the primary database. Finally, I can test my data guard setup and I use the validate command for that. I use it on the primary database and it reports that it is ready for switchover. I use the same command on the standby database and it too is ready for switchover. So let's try to issue a data guard switchover.
If there were any problems in my data guard setup, if the standby database was not fully in sync with the primary database, I wouldn't be allowed to perform a switchover. After a little while, the switchover completes and I've verified that my data guard setup is intact. That's it. You can easily upgrade your database with data guard using auto upgrade.